Hello and welcome to this video on how to learn in an, an ocean rocker button into the Smart in Ocean Gateway. In this video I will show you how easy it is to learn in an, an ocean rocker button into this Smart in Ocean Gateway. We are now here seeing already the web interface of the gateway to which I am connected with the browser. In case you do not know which IP address the gateway has, it's fairly easy to discover it. I'm opening here the Windows Explorer and if you take the Windows Explorer and scroll down to the neighborhood, network neighborhood, Although it's in German here, you might recognize that these are computers and uh, these are all gateways which are, are in our local subnet. So at the moment I want to use the InOcean gateway which has the IP address 91 at the end. It's announced via UPnP, so you can find it easily here in the Windows uh, Explorer and with a double click it gets you to the login screen of the gateway. So, assuming that you didn't change anything so far, the standard password is admin, which I'm currently typing, and after entering the credential admin, all uh, lowercase letters, we enter the main dashboard of the gateway. Basically, there are three menu points, admin, an ocean, and internet of things. I am not going through all the admin parts which are needed for example to change network settings or date and time or the an ocean chip but on this video we'll focus on how to learn in an ocean devices so i'm going to the an ocean menu point and as you can see there is no data to display means there are no devices learned in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to the menu point new device which puts the gateway in uh, learn in mode means that the gateway now is waiting learn in telegrams. So in my hand I have a rocker button, a standard in ocean rocker button and if I click this rocker button then you see here this is the telegram that the gateway received. So what we see here is the date which is first seen, the device ID which is unique to all in ocean devices and uh, we have some information about the learn in procedure and to, at the end we also see which kind of EEP, which kind of an ocean equipment profile the device uses. So this is the very first device in ocean has ever made. It's the easiest or one of the easiest uh, equipment profiles F60201. We are now halfway through in learning in the device. What we need to do is we need to give here with the pen in the edit mode and then we need to give him a name. If you do not want this device or if there are other devices which are uh, showing up here then you can delete them on the, re on the cross here. So I go inside the pen which goes in the edit mode and I'm gonna name the only thing I have to enter is the friendly name and I am uh, using a demo demo rocker. Um, this is the name for the rocker now, demo rocker. Anything else can be left or everything else. We have the correct an ocean equipment profile, we have no variation. These are flags which at the moment are not important so all I have to do is I have to press OK and then the rocker button is learned in. In order to check this I can go to devices. Now okay we see the demo rocker button which is here and if I go to the edit menu point and I can see there are three or two other menu points available. Communication, the rocker button is a unidirectional device so you cannot communicate with the rocker button but you can see whenever you press a button here then you see button released, button pressed. These are the informations which are also sent out over the API. So basically what we did is if we go back to the admin dashboard we see now number of devices learned in one. This was very easy, this was the rocker button. 
next videos we will learn in a window contact or a temperature sensor and then we will move on to some more complicated devices. Thank you and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to write uh, underneath a, co a comment or send us some questions. Thanks and bye.